Hi guys, Fade here from nerffades.blogspot.com. I've been getting a lot of questions about my UI lately, so I'm going to go ahead and make a video that's all about that. Give you a basic rundown of the add-ons I use. There's a corresponding blog post if you have any questions. For my unit frames there, I use simplistic unit frames. For my bars, I use Bartender 4 with DSM Fade as a skin. For my tooltips that you're seeing there, I use TipTac. For my chat, Box, I use Chatter. For my map, I use Sexy Map. To move things around, I use Move Anything. To have my bag all in one bag there, I use Baganon. There's a couple things that aren't showing. I use NPC Scan, Recount, etc. I use Chocolate Bar for my bar up there at the top. This is Auditor, a plugin that keeps track of how much gold I make and where it's coming from and how much I spend. There's Durability. It'll auto repair my stuff for me. Let's see here. My cast bar there is from Quartz. Here's the target cast bar as well and you can see my targets from my unit frames. Let's move around down here. This is one of my favorite add-ons. This is Altaholic. I use it basically to keep track of everything including what items I have where, what, uh, what sort of skills my alts have and what they can make etc etc. It's a really great add-on. I highly recommend it. Let's go ahead and check out the auction house. This is OPI or OP. I've heard a lot of people say it different ways but basically it's a hidden ring that allows you to put up a bunch of stuff. I use it for things like my auras. You can see trade skills there. Let's hit up the auction house here. On Fade I actually only have Auctionator which is a great little uh, single item buy sell um, add-on. For larger things, a lot of people like to use Auctioneer, and I do have it on a different character, which I'll show you later, but it kind of lags me out, so on Fade, I've only got Auctionator. Checking to make sure I haven't missed anything here. Looks like I did, in fact, completely forget to talk about my little nameplates for when I'm in combat, which I had a specific question about emailed to me. Uh, do feel free to email me any questions. I, I like hearing from you guys and I like talking, so I especially like talking about myself. Then again, who doesn't? Let's head over to the target dummies so you can see my nameplates and some in combat stuff I've got going on. I also run the usual recount, omen, etc. Let's see here, targeting this. Now you can see my combat, you can see the the little name plates above are from Tidy Plates. That's the default skin. I'll start clicking off a few buffs here in just a moment to show you some power auras I've got set up. That's ones for when I don't have righteous defense. The cross swords are a lack of a seal. And sometimes you'll see a little uh, icon pop up next to my name plate there. And that just means that I'm about to get a shield of the righteous crit. Okay. So let's show you a, different, a few more add-ons that I actually don't have uh, enabled on Fade here, if I can log out. Here we go. Let's get over to one of my auction tunes. Because everyone needs a level 60 rogue twink to do all their auctioning. Okay. We're going to show you a mail add-on first. This add-on is called Postal. It's great for bulk opening mail, as well as keeping track of exactly what you opened, such as how much gold you had incoming and all that good stuff. The timer in the top left is counting down how long until mail refreshes, since you can only open 50 at a time. The number at the top right is how many mail I have total. Okay, I didn't open all of it, but there you can see Postal actually lists how much gold it gathered up there in the left. And you can see that uh, included there on Auditor. If I click around here, it looks like from the auction house all time, I've made over 128,000 gold on this character alone, which is pretty nice considering it's, I think, my fourth auction house too, and who knows what came before it. Oh, totally almost forgot to show you Auctioneer. Not that it, there's some great guides for each specific add-on that I've mentioned, uh, especially the more complicated ones like Auctioneer. So be sure to check those out. I'm just telling you what I use here. So I've still got my Auctionator installed here. Uh, here's some tabs for Auctioneer specifically. 
I don't use Auctioneer a whole lot, uh, except for basically, I like the way it makes the, the list look, how I can sort them by percentage, etc. Uh, other than that, I really don't use it that much for actual posting. So we're gonna open a few more mails here. It looks like I've been selling some Deep Rock Salt. Yay, Christmas holiday. Once I get all this opened, uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I used to post. I'm currently using Zero Auctions, which is the updated Quick Auctions 3 from uh, Zero to Rescue, I believe his username is, over at Just My Two Copper. It's, he did a great job getting that add-on updated really quick. I believe a lot of people use Auction Profit Master, which I've heard is very similar, but Zero Auctions works fine for me, so, and I still have all my stuff set up. Here's my Zero Auctions configuration. Uh, if, I, if you want to, I'll go into the exact configuration some other time, but it's just a basic look about how the stuff looks. And here we go. And this is what I love about Zero Auctions. Uh, I just can just sit here and spam the yes button and it'll undercut all of my auction, or you know, it will auto undercut everything and post it all up for a good price that I set. Of course, this is what I don't like about Auctioneer. You can see every time Zero Auction scans something, it lags the computer out. Uh, of course, I'm sure running, running two instances of uh, WoW, Fraps, and iTunes isn't helping. Let's see here. I'm getting all these posted up. This is actually my, uh, for the most part, my recipe tune. I actually sell almost entirely just vendor recipes on this character, and it's made tons of money. Vendor recipes for the win. Also liquidating a few glyphs I have left over from leveling herbalism. You'll see that two things aren't on my zero auctions list. One's a little blue necklace, one's a first mate's hat. This is where auctionator comes in. It will also do the automatic undercutting for me but it's, I use it as more of a single basis, and I also use it to buy, because it makes a good uh, display of exactly what you're paying for each item. And there you go. That's basically it, I believe. Those are, for the most part, the, the add-ons I use. I might use a few others that I didn't mention, but that's basically it. I'll be sure to do a blog post with all of my add-ons that I use, and have it up at nerffades.blogspot.com. Please be sure to check it out. I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoy the UI. Oh, don't forget about Outfitter. Can't go without your pretty dress. Aw, oh, yeah, who doesn't love that? Okay, guys, have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the blog, nerfbaited.blogspot.com. Shameless plug, go.